Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Senate confirms former Exxon CEO Tirson as Secretary of State. By Alicia Powell. Despite efforts by Democrats to slow down the nomination, the Republican led Senate confirmed Rex Tirson as President Donald Trump's Secretary of State on Wednesday. Rex Tirson a lifelong oil company executive, was approved in a 56-43 vote. Republicans considered the former ExxonMobil CEO to be highly qualified for the post, but Democrats largely lined up against Tirson. The 64-year-old Texan, who has no prior government experience and no formal background in foreign policy or diplomacy, still received some Democratic support. Democratic Senators Joe Manchin, W. Virginia. Heidi Heitkamp North Dakota, Mark Warner, Virginia, and Independent Senator Angus King Maine, joined all Republicans in backing Trump's nominee. Senator Chris Coons, D. Dell, skipped the vote. Tirson's ties to Russia and his stance on sanctioning Moscow have been a point of contention. In a failed attempt to convince Republicans to vote against Tirson, Democrats warned that Tirson had not backed new sanctions targeting Moscow and raised concerns about Trump's executive order on immigration. Senator Martin Heinrich, DNM, said he opposed Tirson's confirmation because negotiating oil deals does not prepare you to be a diplomat advocating for American values. Senator Ben Cardin, the Foreign Relations Committee's top Democrat, warned Tirson would be a yes-man and would not be able to prevent Trump from pursuing a misguided foreign policy that leads the country on a march of folly. Tirson, as CEO of the largest U.S. oil company, developed oil fields in the Arctic Sea, Siberia and the Black Sea in Russia. President Vladimir Putin awarded him his nation's Order of Friendship in 2013 for his contributions to Russia. Senator Bob Corker, Republican Tennessee said he hopes Tirson will hone in on U.S. relations with Russia. I would say in a place that, if I were him, that I would want to be focused is my strategy on the Russia issue, Corker told reporters. It's one where you know the president seems fairly engaged and I think as Secretary of State he probably wants to make sure that he's developed his thinking on how to push back on Putin. Top issues facing the new Secretary of State is the civil war and terrorist threat in Syria refugee resettlement and other immigration and travel-related policies, and the future of economic sanctions on Russia. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.